Welcome back to our CompTIA Plus Core 1 course. In this lesson we are going to explore BIOS and UEFI, two critical components that help your computer boot and manage hardware settings. We'll explain what they are, how they work, where they are stored on the motherboard and the key settings you can manage by using them. So let's start by looking at what is BIOS. BIOS stands for Basic Input and Output System. It is a small program or firmware stored on a special chip embedded on your computer motherboard. BIOS plays a critical role in initializing and testing the hardware when you power on your computer, ensuring that everything functions properly before loading your operating system. Where is BIOS stored? This is another question which many of you who are studying for HomeTA Plus would want to know. So traditionally BIOS was stored on the ROM or read-only memory chip on the motherboard. ROM is non-volatile memory that holds data permanently and cannot be changed easily. However, in the modern systems, the BIOS firmware is typically stored on EEP ROM, which is electrically erasable programmable read-only memory or flash memory. EEP ROM and flash memory are types of non-volatile memory that allow for updates to the BIOS firmware. These memory chips are soldered onto the motherboard. So what is flash memory? Flash memory, a type of EEP ROM, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory, is widely used because it can be easily updated and offers faster performance compared to traditional EEP. E ROM. This type of memory is typically found on a dedicated chip on the motherboard, usually located near the CPU or memory slots. It can often be identified by a label on the chip itself or through motherboard documentation. The CMOS complementary metal oxide semiconductor chip, which you can also find on motherboard, on the other hand stores configuration settings such as system time, date and hardware settings. It is powered by a small battery, usually referred to as CMOS battery, to retain these settings when the computer is off. If this battery fails, the BIOS settings may reset to default. And now let's discuss the key features of BIOS. First is POST. Power on self-test. BIOS's first task when you turn on the computer is to run POST, which checks that essential hardware components like memory, the CPU and storage devices are working correctly. If any issues are found, the BIOS either displays an error message or produces series of beeps called beep codes to help diagnose the problem. Second, bootstrap loader. Once the POST is complete, the BIOS looks for the bootloader on a storage device, typically a hard drive or SSD. The bootloader is a small program that loads the operating system into a memory, allowing the computer to start up and CMOS setup utility. The BIOS provides access to the CMOS setup utility, often called the BIOS setup. This interface allows users to configure system level settings like system time, boot order and hardware parameters. The settings you modify in this utility are stored on the CMOS chip. Legacy hardware support. One of the main advantages of BIOS is its ability to support older hardware and operating systems. However, this comes with limitations such as operating in 16-bit real mode, which restricts the amount of memory it can address and makes the system slower to boot. And following are the BIOS limitations, slow boot time. BIOS require multiple steps to initialize and check the hardware, leading to slower boot times. Limited partition support. BIOS uses the master boot record or MBR partitioning scheme which supports drives only up to 2 terabytes in size. 16-bit real mode. Since the BIOS operates in 16-bit real mode, it can only access a limited amount of system memory, which is around 1 megabyte, which is inadequate for modern computing needs. And another BIOS limitation is text-based interface. The BIOS setup utility is typically a simple text-based interface navigable only by the keyboard. This can be difficult for users unfamiliar with command line style menus. Because of these limitations, BIOS has largely been replaced by UEFI in modern systems. And now let's discuss what is 
UEFI. UEFI, which stands for Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, is the modern successor to the BIOS. It performs many of the same functions, such as initializing hardware and booting the operating system, but with additional features and capabilities that make it more suitable for modern computers. Where is UEFI stored? Just like BIOS, UEFI firmware is stored on a non-volatile memory chip embedded on the motherboard. This chip is usually a form of EEPROM, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory or flash memory, which can be updated with new firmware versions. Flash memory is a type of EEPROM that can be easily updated. It is usually located on a small, identifiable chip soldered onto the motherboard. This chip is commonly found near the CPU or memory slots and is designed to store firmware in a way that allows for regular updates. While UEFI still uses a small portion of CMOS to store certain settings, most of its configuration data and the firmware itself are stored in a non-volatile memory chip EEPROM or flash memory, which allows UEFE to be more flexible and updatable than traditional BIOS. And key features of the UEFI is faster boot times, UEFI is designed to boot faster than BIOS, it streamlines the hardware initialization process and is optimized for modern solid-state drives and NVMe drives, making the system startup much quicker. It has graphical user interface or GUI. UEFI has a more user-friendly graphical interface, often with mouse support. This makes it much easier to navigate and configure settings compared to the text-based BIOS interface. Secure Boot UEFI introduces Secure Boot, a feature that ensures that the integrity of the boot process by only allowing trusted software signed by the manufacturer to run. This helps to protect the system from the malware and rootkits that attempt to infect the boot process. And GP GUID partition table support. UEFI uses the GUID partition table or GPT instead of MBR which stands for master boot record partitioning scheme which allows it to support disks larger than 2 terabyte and more than 4 primary partitions. GPT is more reliable and scalable than MBR. And network functionality. UEFI allows the system to connect to the network directly from the firmware. This is useful for remote diagnostics, firmware updates or even network booting without the need for an operating system. 32-bit and 62-bit mode. UEFI supports both 32-bit and 64-bit modes, allowing it to address much more memory than BIOS. This makes UEFI more efficient for systems with larger amounts of RAM, resulting in better overall performance. So now let's take a look at key differences between UEFI and BIOS. First is boot speed. UEFI typically boots faster than BIOS due to its more efficient hardware initialization routines. Partitioning support. UEFI supports the GPT partitioning system which allows it to manage storage devices larger than 2 terabytes, whereas BIOS is limited to the MBR scheme which is capped at 2 terabytes. User interface. UEFI offers more advanced graphical interface with mouse support, while BIOS relies on a text-based setup that only uses keyboard. Security. UEFI includes secure boot, which ensures that only trusted signed software can be loaded during the boot process. BIOS lacks this security feature. Legacy support. Some UEFI systems offer a legacy mode, allowing them to emulate BIOS for older operating systems or software that only supports BIOS. Firmware updatability. BIOS stored on a ROM or read-only memory was not updatable. Modern BIOS and UEFI stored on EE, PROM or flash memory can be updated more easily with UEFI, offering a more user-friendly update process. And now let's get into the common settings you can manage by using BIOS or UEFI. Boot order is the first setting. One of the most important settings you'll configure is the boot order. This controls the sequence in which the computer checks devices like the hard drive, SSD, USB drive or CD-ROM for a bootable operating system. You might need to adjust the boot order to install an operating system or OS from a USB or troubleshoot boot issues. Overclocking. 
For enthusiasts and advanced users, BIOS on UEFI allow you to adjust CPU and memory settings for overclocking. This pushes your hardware to run at a higher speed than the manufacturer specifications, but it comes with risks such as system instability or overheating. Enable disable hardware. BIOS and UEFI let you to enable or disable specific hardware components like onboard graphics, network adapters or sound cards. This can be helpful when troubleshooting hardware issues or optimizing system performance. Virtualization. Many modern CPUs come with hardware virtualization support such as Intel VT-X or AMD-V. You can enable or disable these features in BIOS or UEFI, allowing these systems to better manage virtual machines or hypervisors. Power management. Power management settings in BIOS and UEFI allow you to configure how the system handles sleep, standby or hibernate modes. You can also manage power saving features for CPUs and other hardware to balance performance with energy efficiency. Fan control. Some UEFI systems include advanced fan control options, allowing you to adjust fan speeds based on temperature to keep the system cool or to reduce noise. This is especially useful for custom built systems or those running resource intensive tasks. Password protection. Both BIOS and UEFI allow setting password to restrict access to settings or prevent booting. However, these BIOS or UEFI passwords are stored on the CMOS chip and can be cleared by resetting the CMOS, which restores default settings and removes the passwords. This reset can usually be done by removing the CMOS battery or using dedicated jumper on the motherboard. We will discuss this in more depth in next video. So to wrap it up, BIOS and UEFI are crucial for your system's operation, with UEFI being more advanced and modern option of BIOS. BIOS historically stored on ROM or read-only memory is now often found on EEPROM or flash memory in update system. UEFI also stored on flash memory offers faster boot times, improved security and better support for large storage drives. Understanding these systems and their settings can enhance your control over your computer's performance and troubleshooting. And the CMOS chip on motherboard is used to store settings for BIOS or UEFI.